everybody now i'm going to show you my johnny depp movie collection i've only got four johnny depp movies but i plan to get a lot more than that you can be sure oh i forgot one be right back aha uh -huh. there we go we start out, and as I was saying, we're going to start off with the 1991 VHS of Edward Scissorhands. This was his well known role. There's a sticker label, and let's look at the 1991 VHS of Edward Scissorhands. Next, we have the 2001 VHS of Chocolate, one of the best of the year, and Two Thumbs Up by Ebert and Roper and the movies. Oh, the sticker's in there. If I could just. Rip it off. Nah. Sticker's a little stubborn. Well, I'll get this out one way or another. I will. There. I think I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the ink label, and let's look at the 2001 VHS of chocolate. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was stubborn. Next, the 2003 VHS of Black Cars of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. Adventure, rousing fun, and excitement on a grand scale by David Sheehan of CBS TV. You see the ink label, and this was printed on October 24th, 2003. Next, we got the 2005 VHS of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Wondrous, you've never seen anything like this before. A.O. Scott of the New York Times. A Feast for the Eyes and the Imagination. Larry Walton of Entertainment Tonight. Ink label was printed October 18th, 2005. This is, of course, the last time we would see this on VHS and the only time. Lastly, we got the 2005 DVD of The Corpse Bride. A Piece of Genius, Joel Ziegler of Good Morning America. The animation is astounding. Claudia Puig, USA Today. And an instant classic by Lou Luminet of the New York Post. And there's the disc, and that's the 2005 DVD of The Corpse Bride. That's going to do it for my Johnny Depp movie collection. See you guys for my last video.